Hi, welcome to The Social Space. I'm Eric Crossland. I'm fascinated by air. If you remove the air from the sky, all the birds would fall to the ground. And all the plants, too. Interesting. Yeah, that was a long one, Matt. Jeez. <laughs> uh, over there. Sitting to my left, that's not Jackie Hager. No, Guest not Jackie. Host, Teresa Caves. Hey. Yeah. Teresa, how did you get uh, pulled into this? You know, I go way back with the Boys and Girls Club to when my 40, almost 47-year-old son went there. You oh, know? Wow. So, And then uh, partnered with him at, when I was at Wichita General, United Regional, Community Health Care Center. So new Ronnie, Randy, you know, so you're all the way. Perfect yeah. guest host because yes. this show is all about the Boys and Girls Club. Well, Isn't that right, Andrew Bell? That's right. I also was uh, involved in the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. Uh, Three-time Toy Bowl champion. Oh boy. So, oh, do you have I'm a ring? You, <laughs> wow. you do three three shows in a row with Andrew. You find out something else. He was yeah. awesome. At. So you didn't wear your ring. I didn't wear my ring. You didn't wear Just your ring. wedding ring. We got to get into all of this. <laughs> uh, uh, to my right, our guest Jeff Pendley. Jeff, thanks for being here, buddy. You're a, you're a board member, right? Yeah, I'm on the uh, alumni and friends board. Okay, awesome. And we have one more person. I keep forgetting to intro at the end of the show. Anthony Ailey, our pianist over there. Look at him. Oh, we'll talk to uh, Anthony in the second segment about all his upcoming dates. Real quick, we have to thank our partners. That's News Channel 6. That's who airs us 1035 Sunday nights. Town Square Media, they air us on News Talk 1290, 10 a.m. audio version. But come on, watch the show to see Andrew. You know what I'm right. cool. and, <laughs> and then also uh, Tanya and Sean Choate, they are Impact Science at Falls Stroke Center. They are our uh, partners as well. Okay, so everybody here is just way involved in the Boys and the Girls Club, <laughs> yeah. except me, geez. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know where we are. I grew up in Waco. I, you know, I know we have an active chapter, I guess. Uh, I, I just I was never just really involved in it, so I don't even know where to start. Well, we'll start with Jeff. You're, the, you're our guest. Jeff, tell us a little bit about yourself and how okay. you got involved with Boys well, and Girls Club. Well, um, I'm on the alumni board. Uh, I don't know how long I've been there now. I can't keep track of the time. It's been a long time. But uh, my mother used to work for the club years ago, and they were needing a coach at one of the places. So I volunteered as a coach way back, like 1979, and it's just grown from there. Wow. Got involved with the Optimus Club, which was then on the operational board, and they did away with that. So I transitioned right into the alumni board. Wow, 1979. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you're just a you're just a young young chap, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, I I want to know about the legacy dinner. Uh, tell us about that, how it got started, and um, who we're honoring. Okay, uh, that started probably about 16 years ago. The Mavericks at that time were looking for a place to honor James Lane, right. who was I'm thinking is a wagon boss, Randy. Is that what he was? Anyway, he was very instrumental in, in starting the Mavericks, and they were looking for some way to honor him. Well, what better way to honor him with a scholarship? Right. So we were looking for a way to raise money. We provide scholarships for kids, so we just merged and uh, put this organ put this event together to raise money for scholarships and uh, extra money, whatever we can afford to put it to the Boys and Girls Club at their needs. And then we all get to eat ribs. Oh, right? that's the yeah, best part go. of the whole meal. Whole meal and the ribs. And <laughs> For yeah. people who don't live in Wichita Falls and watch the show, my parents, uh, the Mavericks are a group that comes out and cooks right. for uh, charities. Right? Charities, right? yes. Just, just come Has out to there. be nonprofit. Nonprofit. Yeah. Nonprofit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jeff, where is this event going to be held? Uh, we're, we're at the Impact again this year. Okay. Uh, be April the seventh. We're going to open the doors at five thirty this year, and the Mavericks will serve their delicious ribs at six. Okay. And then we'll start with the. Uh, guess the entertainment portion or the handing out of scholarships and honoring this year's legacy honoree Judge Bob Brotherton. Awesome. Oh, oh nice. How yeah. cool. And how can you get tickets to this event? Uh, I wish I knew most of that but uh, you contact the Boys and Girls Club admin office and they'll sure help you with tickets. Okay. Uh, we've got tables of eight for 400 and individual tickets for $60. Awesome. Yeah, I have mine. Good. I have my tickets. Great. I have my two tickets. My Great. husband's going to cook ribs and then and then we'll be there to be part of it. Good. Yeah. And you said before we got online, you were waiting for them in the mail. They're not going to be mailed this not, year. Not mailed not this okay. year. Just come to the door. Mm -hmm. We'll have uh, uh, our receptionist there. We'll have your name. So at that time there, we're also giving away six door prizes throughout the deal. So you'll register for a door prize at that time hey. when you come in the door. Very cool. What a cool deal. Mm -hmm. You have any, have any idea what any of those door prizes are? We're giving $50 gift cards away. Oh, okay. I'll take that. To where? 
I you don't just know. Give cards. You don't know, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it makes it more exciting to not know. <laughs> Where? Uh, what, 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 you, what? So, tell me more about this thing you won while you were there. The so, toy oh, thing? the toy bowl. Boys. They, they mm -hmm. get championship rings. They get big rings. Yeah. Uh, what's yeah. the competition though? It's football. football. Oh, oh, it's football. football. Yeah. Uh, I'm so. impressed. I'm impressed. Coaching football. Never made it there. Really? <laughs> never made. It. Yeah. We. And have, it's intense. Yes. Parents, yeah. grandparents, yeah. Full, I mean, tackle? Oh, yeah. Tackle. Oh, wow. Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it was a big part of my life growing up. It kind of taught me football and the Boys and cl Girls Club. It was just a great experience for me. Yeah, so. I, was, I, I was telling Jeff before we uh, got on air here that I was uh, uh, shooting video for Mike Little before I came to work here, and he had judged Mike Little, and he was real involved in Boys and Girls Club. So I have a lot of footage of, of the one uh, right over here by the uh, Central City Boys. Hall. Central Boys and Girls. Yeah, so that's the central one. Yeah, yeah. about yeah. You know, the pool in there and all the other, all mm -hmm. the other cool stuff they, they have over there. So. Well, hey, you'll have to check out this year if they bring back the Haunted House. I was always the mother that took all the girls to the haunted there house. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we missed that. I'll be, I'll be looking forward uh -huh. for that too. That's yeah. a great time. Yeah. Oh man, I loved. We always, we always, uh, me and my cousin, I always volunteered to help run the church uh, uh, Halloween mm -hmm. thing at, uh -huh. at my, my church growing up, just so we could beat up our friends when they came through. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can tackle little Randy. Uh, anyway, not this Randy. Uh, all right, so uh, thanks, Jeff. Is there anything else at all we need to cover? I think, I think we got it. That's good. Uh, on your, on your just behalf. invite people to come out and enjoy a great evening. Yeah. Uh, good especially food. the food. Yeah. But just enjoy meeting your friends that you that live across town that you hadn't seen in a while. There you go. That's right. Yeah, and thank you better. for being a board member. Thank that's you. a very important role uh, in a I'm, nonprofit. I'm really blessed to be there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jeff, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. We're going to bring Randy on, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about the Boys and Girls Club. Well, he'll, you'll have to go longer with him because he, okay. he, he tends to... We've left him, we've left him, <laughs> we, we've left him more time. For those of you who don't know, Randy's just right on, on the other side of the camera here. He can he's hear all smiling. This. He's smiling. Yeah. All right. Uh, we Rand, will... Randy's good about taking ribbon about <laughs> going <laughs> long on everything he does. Uh, Jeff, we're still on air. Oh, you are can we? Put your oh, mic sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with Randy Cooper. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. That's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 929 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 1063 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media and we're proud to be a sponsor of the social space. Welcome back to the social space. That over there is Anthony Ailey playing us in and out of the breaks. Anthony, where are you going to be, buddy? I will be at OG Sellers. I'm taking a little bit of a break. The old birthday's coming up. <clears throat> so I'll just be at OG uh, at the Holt, and uh, we're done after that. Okay. Right, taking it easy the next day. All right, buddy. All right. If you want to, uh, if you want to book Anthony, what is your email address there? Uh, AileyAnthony8 at gmail.com. Yeah, get him for your wedding. Get him to play out. Just get him to uh, play outside your house on a nice... Spring I, I day. I could wake you up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the key to your house, let him sneak in and wake you up. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, Teresa Caves is still over here, stepping in for Jackie. How you, how you feel we've been doing so far, Teresa? You guys, I think you're doing great. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you're that. Just so now you can report back to Jackie. Yeah. yeah. So they do, they yeah. do pretty good. She'll text me and I'll say, oh, they're their regular selves. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll know what I mean. Yeah, she yeah. will. Andrew Bell's over there being his regular self. Yes. Regular, regular self. <laughs> just regular. Just regular. Without 
without your Super Bowl, without your Toy, toy Bowl ring. ring. Yeah. Toy Bowl ring. Yeah, that's now, right. Now we know this, a man who I'm sure knows what the Toy Bowl is, I guess, <laughs> Randy Cooper, Executive Director of Boys and Girls Club, is that right? Yes, sir, that is correct. How did you, tell us a little bit about yourself how you, and how you came to be a part of the Boys and Girls Club. Well, let's go back multiple decades. Uh oh, here we go. Okay. He warned us. You folks know where, know where the health center is next to the river and I-44. That's my front yard. My oh. twin brother and I, and as we got old enough, we looked down three blocks. Ooh, there's a big structure, boys club. Oh my goodness, we have the river on one side. We have got the swimming pool on the other, the boys <laughs> club in there. What else did we need? So at the tender age of six years old, we walked down there huh. to that huge structure and my brother and I became members. We learned to swim there. Mm -hmm. And both of us, we're twin brothers, actually on the staff side, uh, we ran that swimming pool together and coached swim teams for about seven years. Also played in the football programs, oh, yeah. uh, camping program, uh, the wood shop, which we no longer have. And I must mention, for all the club kids out there that are my age, Medicare age and above and so forth, I remember the caring impact of Juanita Berry. Mrs. Berry, bar none. Mm -hmm. Graham Ball, Ryan London, Barry Truitt, all of our team. No one was better at building great relationships with kids than Juanita Berry. So as we grew, up, my brother and I graduated old high, uh, attended uh, MSU, Texas, uh, earned a BS in economics, heavy on the BS. Can I say that? <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot of that along the way. And because of the connection with, at the time, the Boys Club, I did a 30 second interview when I was a 30 seconds, maybe 25 seconds with Ronnie London. I said, Mr. London, I understand the locker room, boys locker room position is open. He looked at me, he said, now all I can pay is $1.10 an hour, that's 50 cents under minimum wage. I said, I, I'll take the job. Mm -hmm. And I was grateful to get it. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. let's fast forward here. I'm still around a little more than 48 years later. Mm -hmm have been blessed with a lifetime of meaningful work and in the capacity of executive director, uh, you have an opportunity to work with and impact young people, families, community. You're blessed to work t with two great strategic partners, corporate board of directors. Right. They're the governing body for the organization. And I would be remiss, and Teresa, you, you, you hit the time for me once I, I get going. <laughs> executive committee of the corporate board. Mm -hmm. That's what drives this organization. Yep. And our chairman of the board, Don Hupp, 34 years service. President Michael Valverde, 20 years of service. Paul Clark, president-elect, 14 years of service. Vice President Diane Taylor, 30 years of service. This is a unique organization with unique board skill sets and commitment and passion. That's mm -hmm. what makes the difference. Well, so that relates to history. So, um, and and there is a lot of history to the Boys and, Boys and Girls Club, Boys Club First. So Correct. tell us about that Correct. history. Well, let's go back. We're in our 93rd year and let's go back to 1929 front and center, Wichita Falls Rotary Club. Three key leaders from that organization emerged. Mm -hmm. One was Dr. O.T. Josh Kimbrough. He was the leader of the group. He served as the organization's board and president, and you can appreciate this, Teresa, from 1929 to 47, did I say 18 years in a row Whoa. as the board president? His sidekick, Bill Ward, chair of the Youth Work Committee for Rotary Club. He was the first executive director of the Boys Club. He served about two years in that capacity. And a gentleman by the name of Horace Robbins, he was the treasurer. He was the dollars and cents guy. He served as our board treasurer from 1929 till the mid-60s. He became treasurer emeritus because of declining health. Two decisions that board has made, the best two decisions mm -hmm. in the organization, really when we look at time. Number one was to build 
the central facility, our flagship. Mm -hmm. And that was thanks to a wonderful gift from Mr. and Mrs. J.J. Perkins in 1939. Second, without a doubt, was to become co-ed. Hmm. My goodness, we and didn't and merge. And what year did that happen? That happened in 91. Because I was on that committee to talk about how we were going to bring girls to the Boys and Girls Club. Exactly. Ralph, Ralph Morgan hooked me, and so did Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie London. And so we sat around a table to talk about how we were going to bring girls in, because that was a national initiative. Yes, it was, and we didn't merge with anyone local, locally. We simply changed our name. And Ralph Morgan, who was the board president, he was the right person he was, at the he right was. time. He was undeterred mm -hmm. because you're taking a successful organization and going, whoa, we need to add another population here. Yeah. Some coped with it well, some didn't, but it is the best decision the board and organization has ever made in its 93 year and history. What, and what did we say about that? We would say when there was that opposition, but what about the kids? Mm -hmm. We didn't say boys, girls. Exactly. We just said, but what about the kids? Exactly. BWATK. We had buttons made that said that. That's but what cool. about the kids? That's great. Randy, yeah. what, is, what is the mission and goal of the club? Okay. Now, the mission and the goals, they've not changed. Mm -hmm. They have been consistent since 1929. Wow. I'm not going to quote you the mission, but I'm going to capture the essence verbally here mm -hmm. with you folks. It is to serve all young people, mm -hmm. but with a focus that you ensure you reach and impact children who need us most sure. in this community. And we take all of our resources, people resources, facility resources, financial resources, lump them together, and our goals and impact and outcomes have remained the same. One is support the development of academic success. Mm -hmm. Two, good character traits. Three is healthy habits. Now, if you'll permit me, I'm going to circle back quickly here and make a push for academic success. Scholarships are one of the things that we have done for a long, long time. When I came on board and Teresa entered MSU in 74, I received a scholarship because I was a former club member. We have an arsenal of scholarships to impact kids in community. Some of the basic requirements, number one, to open it to young people. Mm -hmm. Modest GPA requirement of only 2.25, and that doesn't change. Secondly, prior member of the Boys and Girls Club, and that is across the scope. If you played sports, if you were on a swim team, if you were on the in the teen court program that we administer, mm -hmm. you capture that. Mm -hmm. You're a member. If you went to camp, you're a member. Uh, so those are two things, 2.25 GPA. Number two, member Boys and Girls Club. Number three, financial need is addressed. We want to help young people and families that need it, and we have a continual increase mm -hmm. of the costs of pursuing higher education. Yeah. Uh, you, you look at our alumni and friends, as, as earlier Jeff Penley mentioned here, and they began in 1975. Since that time, they have provided more than 400,000 in scholarships mm -hmm. wow. to young people. Nice. And we're going to have 15 to 20 scholarships available. Uh, the, and what is just unique, most of those are renewable, minimum of mm -hmm. one year. You make the 2.25 first semester, and then, wow, it's renewable the second year. A lot of them are renewable up to four years. So will those, a lot of those scholarships, will they be awarded at the James Lane dinner next week? No, what we or will do next week. is our Alumni and Friends Scholarship Committee oh, okay. that is chaired by Amy Simmons, former ISD Teacher of the okay. Year, and some club staff. We'll review applications. The deadline to submit an application is June 5th. You can find information online, bgcwf.org. You can pick up the phone and call okay. me. I'd love to talk to you. 322 You would love to talk to us? <laughs> yes, I now, would. I just, I, I, just have, I, just have this, I just have this one other question. Uh, and quick, we, guys, we are I know. out of We're time. just getting warmed the up. The next show's right going to start. Y'all can keep talking. <laughs> the show that comes on after this show has <laughs> started. Uh, no, what, what is the question? I mean, the we, question we, we, is, how can parents and donors um, 
find you and donate to you. Yeah. Oh, perfect. You can go online to bgcwf.org, hit the donate button. If you have questions, give us a call 322-2012. We would encourage parents visit a facility mm -hmm. and engage in conversation a branch director who is responsible for delivery of programs and engagement with you as a parent and your child. There you go. Beautiful. That's awesome. Well, golly, uh, what a great show. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and we, fun. Uh, yeah. We, and, uh, so Jackie's going to be texting you here in about five minutes. Yeah. I expect an A+. Plus. <laughs> I think we did good. Because we had the master Teresa over yeah. here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, she, no, All right. you know, Jackie's very particular who steps in for her. Well, thank you so much <laughs> to Jeff Pinley who was on here earlier. And of course, uh, thank you to uh, Anthony Ailey who's over here uh, being our band. Teresa, thank you for uh, oh, stepping in for Jackie. My and delight. Randy, thank you. We appreciate it. I learned a lot today. We will see you next week. The 66th Annual University Kiwanis Pancake Festival. All You Can Eat Pancakes, April 23rd, for kids in our community. The Pancake Festival, April 23rd. Premier sponsor, Four Stars Auto Ranch. Summer always seems like it'll last forever. Until it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it's that time of year again. Don't be caught off guard. Get ahead of the problem. Let James Lane make sure your unit's ready for 91 day and 30 the next. Be ready for anything and everything with James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing. When you need us, we're there. So I'm a finalist for the Remodelers Advantage Impact Award. Do I deserve it? Well, deserve is a strong word. Yes. Axis Construction, how can I help you? I'm sorry, he's currently in a meeting right now. Can I take a message? Yeah, we've, we've got a great team. Uh, I love everybody here. I'd like to give them freedom to do their best work and space. I like to encourage and support them so that they can do everything that they want to do. Working with Jeremy has been, uh, you want me to say a word or just, he's creative, tall, courageous, and bold. Jeremy is ambitious, a very tall leader. What's that say? This is like kind of out of my comfort zone. And y'all probably didn't catch any of this. We're rolling. We're rolling. Oh, I can't read that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm humble. I'm like the most humble guy I know. Anybody wants to argue with me, they're wrong. Humble. He's a thoughtful boss, uh, lets us get our work done, gives us our space, little distractions. To get the best work done in a day, I need complete silence and no distractions. And sometimes that could be difficult working around Jeremy. Other than that, I love it. Yeah. RA, on a serious note, thank you so much for nominating me as an Impact Award finalist. To my friends at Velocity, you challenge and encourage me, and I appreciate you more than you know. And to our team at Axis Construction, you inspire me to be better every day. Thank you.
One of the most common things we see with new clients is negative equity in their trade-in. You go to trade in your car, but you owe more than it's worth. At DNM, we feel the best way to break this cycle is for our customers to better understand what negative equity is and how we can help you avoid it. Let's start with the basics. Cars are getting more and more expensive these days. In order to keep payments low, traditional finance contracts keep getting extended. It sounds like an easy fix when the finance person explains it, but the truth is, most people don't actually keep their car for the full extended term. The car drops in value faster than the monthly payment. Watch out! And when the customer goes to trade in their car, they owe more than what it's worth. Pretty soon, you're upside down. Typically, the next step is to roll the negative equity into a new loan, finance more than you should, and repay interest on everything all over again, which from our experience, doubles your negative equity every time. Stop me if I'm wrong, but who wants to keep paying high payments because of negative equity? The good news is there's no better place to retire negative equity than in a lease. You might have guessed it, but DM is the best place to find your next lease. We make 100% sure that the negative equity is gone at the end of the lease term. The terms are shorter and you just pay for the part of the car you use. If you currently have negative equity or are worried about creating it, please reach out to DM. Our agents are experts at walking clients through how to properly structure their financing to either fix past mistakes or prevent future ones from happening. DM Leasing, world class service for 40 years.